So 3.5, 0.6, 0 0.7, everything explained in this diagram. Already explained in this diagram, so we can skip. We go straight to the question. Or oh, before that, 3.7.3. This one. If I sell from 80%, I sell 10%, that is Alright, 3.8, partial disposal. Okay, can you see this is I said? This is equity, this is liability. Chop, co, but a uh, hundred percent of the voting shares of share capital of Chisco on the first January. So, for hundred and sixty on its date of incorporation, Chis earn and retain two forty. You can see here this is Chis. They have now so far earned two forty. Does it belong to the group? Everything. I buy 100% at the date of incorporation. Means when they first set up, I really own 100%. Means how much is their retained earning at the time? Zero. Because it was purchased on incorporation. Now it already has 240. Does it belong to everything to the group? Yes, because 3x is zero. Now it's 240. Everything belongs to the group 100%. At the date, the statement of financial position, so this is 31st December, I own 100% and it is group policy to value it at proportionate method, a proportionate share. Meaning method number one, the group will belong only to the parent. On the 1st January, which is the following year, our year end is 31st December, on the 1st of January, 2008, Chok sold 40% of his shareholding of cheese for 280. The profit on disposal is calculated as follows. Now, I hold 100 and now I sell 40. So, is that how it is calculated? No. So, this one is an individual. individual. Yeah. 
Now, because there's no cross in the counting boundaries, we use this. What is the fair value of consideration we see? How much? 2A0. And we want to know the increase in the net asset of the at the date of disposal. So we look at the overall increase in the NCI. How much is the NCI? Actually, it's zero right? originally. Now, how much belongs to NCI? 40%. Of how much? Four hundred. If I own one hundred percent, everything belongs to me. Now that the NCI is zero, of the four hundred, forty percent will be to the NCI. So four hundred times forty percent, one six zero. So the group make a profit of one two zero. When what do you do? We adjust the transparent equity. Okay. Do I still console the subsidy at the end of the year? Yeah, I still own sixty percent. I still have control. I therefore must console. So now, when I sell forty percent, will I receive money? I receive how much? Two eight zero. I will sell off my investment. It was hundred sixty. Minus how much? Sixty four. Ninety six individually. Lah. This one becomes how much? Share capital. What happened to my retained earning? It was five six zero. Now we focus on parents, individual parent account. When I sell off the subsidiary forty percent, I will reduce forty percent. I will receive how much? Two eight zero. So I take the mean of how much in parent book. Parent book I make one six. So it gets one six individually. Which is seven. Current liability, no effect. What is the total here? One three seven six. After disposal. So, because I buy on incorporation, okay, investment and incorporation. So let's look at the here. Yeah. This is after the disposal. Let's add a cross console. Buy and incorporation no goodwill. One two eight zero plus subsidy. Now, share capital always always take parents. Retain earning. My question now: seven seven six. Does it include parents profit? Must we eliminate? Yes. What is the parents profit? Two one six. It already included the two one six. Remember, can you see here? There already included the two one six. When come to group, 
we have to eliminate the 216. <coughs> then we have to add group profit. What is the group disposal profit? Yeah? One two zero. How much is it? Is it six eight zero? Subsidiary. When I buy the time, it was only zero. Now it's 240 and I own 100%, right? Before I sell, I own 100%, so you take all 240. So 766 eliminate at group profit plus subsidiary post 100%. So that's why this is group 920. Add across, done. <laughs> And this question, because I told my friend, I sold off 40, we have now about 2950. Here, NCI is 160. Okay, now. It's from the earlier example, original I have 1000, I sell 40% to get 2280, so this is my cash balance. The retained earning, it was how much? 540 and 560, because the group make profit of 216, so now I have 776, eliminate. 560, gain on disposal, so we eliminate and in the group. And remember to console post situation just like usual. Post situation. Okay, now. Next question is, uh, should I console 100% or should I console 50%? So, because I own 100% at the end of the year, if I sell 100%, it will be consoled all the way 100%. That's why it's 240 minus 0. Okay. Now, then we have NCI, which is calculated, so it's going to be another group after the group. So at the moment now, we're going to consider 40%. 40% and 10. No problem. Alright. Associate status using the above example, assume that chop sold 60%, 100%, sell off 60%, I left it only 40%. Do I use this format? Do I use this? No. Which one should I use? Ah, this one. 
Can you differentiate now? Because there's a loss, there's a cross in the multi We have to use this comment in our case. You know. Just now, the example is CP, so after it becomes CP. This one, loss in control, use this comment. So I will to read this. Now. Original how many percent I owe? I sell 60%. I left with 40, right? Fair value of consideration transfer, how many? It's for how many percent? I retain 40%. This will be the fair value of the investment retain 40. Because I own 100 originally, therefore here total 100. Just now, I, my example was 70%, right? That's why it has to be 70%. So, originally 100%, so this is 100%. Do I have to minus anything? Originally, there's no NCI, so minus nothing. So, I left with 100%. So, it has to be my original investment minus the 100%. Clear? So, now, do you notice there's a good bit here? Yes, meaning for disposal, In the parents' book, in the parents' book, I own 100%. Now that I sell 60%, so 60% of the original cost is 96. And I sell it for what? Here. 344. Is this parent profit or group profit? So this is parent profit. But what we have to do is to calculate the group's profit or loss. Use this format. You okay? So let's try. What is the fair value of consideration transfer? Or in this case, we see 440. What is the fair value of the investment that I retain? Sixty percent is four four zero. What is the fair value of this? Two hundred. Is it given? Yes, given. What is the net asset? There's no goodwill because I buy at the date of incorporation, no goodwill. So what's the net asset at the date when I lose control? When the control is lost. Let's look at the subsidiary. This is the how many percent? When I lose control, the net asset of the subsidy is 400. Yeah. I own 100%, but now I lose control. So I need to take out the value of this 60%. So 400. So therefore, this is my book sale. Uh, profit of sale. I, re I reproduce it, it will be something like this. 440, 200. What is my ordinary share? That I said. Any goodwill for this question? Nothing. Must we minus NCI? Nothing. Yes, but there's nothing. So I left with 400. Can you see? Is a 
Parents profit, groups profit. Okay. So this is after disposal. One six zero. I saw sixty percent ninety six after disposal. Originally, I have one thousand. Yeah. Originally, I have one thousand. Now that I sell sixty percent, I collected four four zero. Therefore, one four four zero. What happened to my retained earning? Five six zero. The parent make how much? Parent, parent. Must we eliminate it? Huh? Yes. So that's why I got nine zero four. And current liability, it was two hundred. Same. Must console, must we eliminate three four four? Eliminate individual parents three four four. We add in group profit of two four zero. Same as the early one. Eliminate parents profit. Add in group profit from the disposal two four. Now, if I move in there, I own the subsidiary all the way until the end of the year, I still own 100 cents. Only for the last day, I own 40 cents. It's not my subsidiary. So, do I still have to control the full uh, the full situation? Yes, I still have to control all the way until I lose the control situation. So, this is also a pair of subsidiary. That's why we make a subsidiary, and subsidiary hold. How much? I draw in timeline. Retain earning is zero. Retain earning or subsi is two forty. Correct. Originally, I own hundred percent, but at the end of the year, until here. I sold 60%, I left with 40. So do I still control them for 100% to work? Until the very last day, no. Lah. So I mean, I still going to control their post acquisition profit of 240. Clear?
Can I complete or not? Little bit, huh? Yes. That's right. Because uh, our exposure, and our application, and exposure, Can you draw a line here? The value of my associate 200. Fair value of the asset 40% retained. So this one will be the amount retained as this value associate. Question. Smith Cook Smith Cook bought eighty percent. Uh, of share capital of Jones for three to four. On the first of October, at the date they have a retain of one eight zero. SFP and the summary statement of profit and loss are as follows. So they tell us that we bought 80% for 3 to 4. Their retained earning is 1 8. What can I find with these two info? Huh? Yeah, we know we can find movie with this info, right? Is it important to cover it movie? Yeah, whether for acquisition or for disposal, we need movie. Okay. Okay. No entries has been made in the accounts by any of the transaction and assume profit accrue evenly. Proportionate shares of fair value of subsidiary. So this is method two. Prepare the console. We have four scenarios here. We focus on scenario A, whereby they sell the entire holding for 650 on 30th on the very last day. So from how many percent to how many percent? From 80% to zero. <coughs> First step. That's it. Is there a cost in how many other so, 
Should I use this? Should I use this? Or should I use this? This, correct. This, this is the one. Huh? Because 80 becomes 0. So, meaning, must I calculate goodwill first? Yes. So, we will calculate goodwill later. After which, we are going to calculate the gain or loss from the disposal. I originally owned 80%. So I sold off everything. Means I'm going to uh, find out the fair value of consideration received for that 80%. Any percentage that's being retained? No. So that's why you see the answer, you see only one line. Because nothing is retained. But we must know that it should be, should be two. Net asset, when I lose control at the date, and we have to calculate the goodwill. These are all 100%. How many percent my side minus here? I own 80%. It means the NCI portion is 20. So minus out 20, I left with 80. Then from that consideration received, together with the cost, I know the gain or loss for the group. Never have uh, no need necessary to be But when it comes to purchase, Always must be 100%, 100% to be. Disposal only 100%. So, first thing, calculate good bill. First, calculate good bill. Does that okay? Come on, that's my idea. Just wait, please. The whole group, I can hear your voice. Huh? Okay. Let's calculate the wheel. What is my consideration factor? Consideration factor. Three, two, four. What is the second step? Second step, one is zero. We take the link to the date when I buy. Also, one is zero. Okay. One is zero, and one is zero. Any time when I remember, I see nothing like this. So it will be 360. And because we use this method, or what kind of method? So 360. And I own 80% of the time, 30% of the time. 396 minus 360. So the movie is 36. This one belongs only to the parent. So the next one we're going to talk about is the gain or loss from the total group. So what's the format? Fair value of consideration received. I received for that 80%. How much? 650. Yeah. And fair value of the equity that is being retained zero. Less net asset, fair value of net asset is in the loose control. When the control is lost, net asset. Today, I lose the control, 
What is the today's name and event? Ordinary share is planned to begin the meeting with my next set today. So today the name of the event is 540. Plan to win. Go win is for the day. So this is 100%. Then I have to minus up SPI of 30%. Is it correct? Yeah. 30% of D. So 100% minus 30% are left with 80%. Better now? Better? Yeah, it's better. Slowly. Now that I have okay. Non current effect from eighty percent. This is working one. Uh, this is scenario one. Question: Do I have to console? With Jones at the end of the year, SS and Liberty. Huh? Yeah, sorry, Jen. Okay. I own 0% now at the end of the year. At the end of the year, I own zero. Know, so whenever I also have to see, my, it's no longer my property. So I no longer control the asset, I no longer control the IP. So we don't control. But however, that's a good example. I will take my, because I, I lose the control at the end of the year. So I will take my decision. I will take also the whole situation at the end of the year. Up until I decide. So, and remember, I make a gain on profit from disposal. So, this one belongs to the group. This one belongs to the group. It has to be included. Let's look at the answer. First of all, done. Go in there. Thirty-six. Sorry, go with thirty-six. Gain on disposal one and six, one and two. Done, done. Retail earning. Where today's retail earning is three six, three is one eight. This is post. Do we still have to console? Yes. Even though I lose control, and on the last day, I still will console post situation. Over there, we have to eliminate parents' profit. 
I will not know why it's not in the section they have been given. No parents copy is in the US. They have an intervention. So no parents copy is in the US media. Therefore, we don't need any errors to be in the early example. What we did was this is after the sale, means we sell 40% and this is the parent's profit which is included in here. So when we console, we have to eliminate. Then we add the group. However, this example that we are doing here, they sell the entire and they haven't recorded anything. Means there's no parent's profit in here. No parent's profit, no need to eliminate. If it's included, please eliminate. Okay. Now. So for part A, no need to console. But do we receive money 650 here? Can you see the group? This is the, from the disposal. 650 increase my cash. Continue. Equity share of parent, parent, parent. This one from the working, done. No NCI. So for next entry, this one is the Profit here, there, which will increase my retainer. Parent plus subsidy, and we go to share. Find which one first? Find NCI, and the balancing will be owner. This will be 380 minus 18. Balancing figure done. How to get the 18? Then 90, we control everything. However, 20% don't belong to us. 90, we control everything. We're going to split 80 and 20. 20 don't belong to us, which is 18 don't belong to us. Probably the line you draw until here. This one we still have control. Yeah, I'm 
also so when I end cross when I control parent and sub I change only C by C. What happened is like this. Uh, first of all, that means seven months and then five months. I got control only seven months. But this question, when I lose control, they say 30th September, which is on the last day. Year end is 30th September. So I lose my control on the very last day. So do I control the point? Same concept, this one is applied to control here. You okay? The financial position, the contact, last time you had your parents and the subject on 31st December, or 30th December, so this is my intent, this is my intent. So on the very last day, I still have control, means I have control over the subject, I have control over the asset. What is my goal? My own asset is I control myself. Subsidiary is like control, it means I control the asset as well. So our group will control. I control everything. You okay? Same thing as liability, BT and SAM, whatever, I'm going to control. You own 60%, you own 70%, 80% control everything. Right? But for this question, I have sold everything and I have zero control over the subsidiary. So at the end of the year, do I still control them? No, when I don't control, I don't control. So that's why we never control something At the end of the year, when I own zero land, I So for this question, I own zero land. So don't control. But be careful with your clothes, 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 be Scenario two. Wait. Scenario two. Salah. Smith Co. Sell one quarter of its holding in Jones for one six zero on thirtieth June. Very clear. Thirtieth <laughs> June. Hey, how many percent to how many percent? I sell one quarter. Hey, one quarter means twenty percent, right? Of my sell rate, and I left it sixty percent. And this for you. My year end is September. How? Yeah. 1st October, 30th September, 08. I own 80%. All the way until here, I own how many percent? 60%. So let's put it in this one. I own 80% for, for 9 months. And I own 60% uh, for 3 months. Is it okay? So now, do I have SDI? Yes. For the first 9 months, I'm going to share the topic to you. SDI will be 30 cents. For the next 3 months, I'm going to share my topic 60% and SDI will be 40 cents. So we have to split 9 months and 3 months. So last question, should I use this method or can I use the 
fair value of consideration received. What is the next one? Increase or decrease? How about that? I sell. So my NCI from 20 becomes 40. So it's an increase in the NCI. So can I use this method or this method? This one. Because there's no change in the counting boundary. So we use this. This one, yes, we have. From 80 becomes 0. 60% is profit. Yeah? So we use this. Any profit or loss, go back. PL or equity only. Because this is a transaction between owner, owner, not to go to parent company. So we have to find on this day, on this day, what is the net asset? Then only we know the NCI increase or decrease. Is it better now? Hopefully. Let's erase this first because it is from 80 to 60. Means at the end of the year, must I still console? Yes. Do I have NCI? Yes. How? No need a break, right? Yeah? Huh? If break means no more time, eh? How long you need? Five minutes? Okay, we take a very, very, very short four minute break.